Welcome everyone to the Equalizer Soccer pregame show. Tonight, Sky Blue FC in their second home game of the season take on the Houston Dash. My name is Dan Lalletta. This is Allison Lee, both of EqualizerSoccer.com. And Allison, a couple of teams without wins tonight. Sky Blue with one minor lineup change. How will Sky Blue, do you think, turn the tables and get on in the W column? Well, as you mentioned, uh, there is one change to the lineup. Katie Johnson is starting up top in place of Shea Groom. Uh, she is known for her attacking uh, prowess off the bench, so she'll be bringing that in for the uh, start of the game. She just recently scored uh, for Mexico in their friendlies against the U.S. women's national team. And uh, that's one thing that uh, Sky Blue has. They have a uh, very heavy attack. They've just been uh, struggling a little bit to find the back of the net. Savannah McCaskill was able to do that in their match against Chicago. And so they'll uh, definitely be looking to put more goals in. They got to do that if they want to get that all important first win of the season. Both of these teams, Allison, have struggled to score in the early going, but it strikes me that while the dash, maybe you're looking for players who can score, Sky Blue has too many talented players to keep continue going on without scoring goals. They just need to find a rhythm, don't they? That's exactly right. Uh, I actually uh, spoke with Kaylin Sheridan during preseason, and she said she did not envy Denise Reddy uh, and her job of picking the lineup every week because of how heavy in the attack they were. Um, it looks like right now maybe making a couple of tweaks, trying to find the right combination on the field, getting some good chemistry, like you said, rhythm going, to try and uh, create more opportunities on goals and be able to finish those opportunities. How about getting into a rhythm? It's only the second home game. We're well over a month into the season. We've already have coaches in the round the league complaining that they've played too many games. But in Sky Blue's case, maybe they haven't played enough games. Sky Blue definitely has the opposite problem. Uh, they only have three games under their belt right now, whereas uh, other teams have twice as many. So they have had a little bit of a slower start this season. So it is going to be important to make the uh, maximum out of their bye weeks, uh, playing local boys teams, picking up scrimmages where they can, and uh, try and come out hard when, when they actually have some NWSL competition on the field. In my opinion, Denise Reddy has been very dedicated to playing the ball out of the back, playing with short passes, taking the, we want to play possession soccer, quite literally. I also feel like the dash, if you can string a few passes together and move the ball around, you can start to break their defensive will a little bit. They're organized, but if you start pinging around passes, you can break their will, and they may not be confident enough they can score if you get a lead on them. Yes, they uh, haven't scored a uh, goal in their last, I believe, four matches uh, other than Christy Muse's own goal in the match against Chicago, which obviously they were not uh, pleased about. So um, they are struggling a bit offensively. They're also struggling in the uh, defense as well. So this is a team with, uh, you know, Reddy's uh, game plan and building out of the back, the possession-oriented football, like you said. Uh, if they can break down that Houston defense, then this is a game where they could put some goals in. And I, like you said, get that first win. Check us out at EqualizerSoccer.com. Check out Sky Blue FC and the Houston Dash at 7 p.m. You can watch it live on Go90.com.